guided by truth, integrity, and principles. That's how Leonard Edward Reed lived his life. Although Reed passed before I was born, his life's work has and will continue to influence many generations long after him. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Reed and then I will introduce the award. Reed fought in World War I and built a successful grocery business before dedica dedicating his life to the cause that is so near and dear to all of us here in this room tonight, advancing freedom. It was during D Reed's time as the head of the LA Chamber of Commerce that he was fighting the New Deal policies that established the welfare and administrative state that we all suffer under today. And it was at this time that Reed recognized the need for an organization to develop and advance a positive moral and philosophical case for individual liberty and limited government. This is how Fee was born. The Leonard E. Reed Distinguished Alumni Award recognizes the unique professional and personal achievements of a Fee alumnus or alumna who has demonstrated exceptional dedication to the cause of liberty. Someone who, like Reed, lives his life guided by truth, integrity, and principles. It's my distinguished honor tonight to present the award together with my fellow alumni board member, Gonzalo Schwartz, who will now introduce this year's alumni award winner. Thank you very much, Romina. It's uh, truly a pleasure uh, to be standing here in front of you tonight and having the distinct honor uh, to recognize one of the, the luminaries of our freedom movement, a true uh, freedom champion. We're honoring two, uh, two trendsetters and uh, mo movement builders in their own right, in Leonard Reed and in Giancarlo Baldwin. Uh, we just heard from, about Leonard from Romina, so let me tell you some of uh, Giancarlo's accomplishment and why he's truly deserving uh, of this award. Like Reed, Giancarlo has been a movement builder through his, uh, his work and with different institutions, with uh, UFM in particular, but also with other organizations that we've been associated with in the last few years, like the Liberty Fund, the Montpelier Society, and, and API. In all of these end endeavors, he has uh, selflessly tried to connect and nurture talented people from, from all around the world. In UFM, he started uh, climbing the ladder in the 1990s to different positions until he became president of the university in 2003. Uh, I never had the, the, personal, uh, the, the pleasure to personally meet uh, Mr. Uh, Manuel Ayao, but from what I can tell from other people's stories about him, I believe that he really thought that Giancarlo was the, the true embodiment of everything that Mr. Ayao sought for in a leader who could continue his legacy at the university. By, by 2003, when he started, Giancarlo was already influencing both the growth and innovation of the university, as well as local policy in Guatemala. Even if in any of those cases he wanted to be recognized, he didn't want to be recognized as a true architect of some of these reforms, both at the university and at the policy level. In terms of the accomplishment, he has been a true trendsetter in the university as one of the main proponents of installing a Wi-Fi system before uh, even U.S. universities had Wi-Fi. Uh, he was one of the main architects behind UFM Media, the outstanding online collection of media records that spans decades and includes content on many of the best stewards and promoters of our ideas through recent history. He always likes to remark that UFM Media, which was established in 2001, if I'm not mistaken, always uh, came before YouTube that started in 2005. He always likes to make that distinction. He was also one of the main architects of the Antigua Forum, what has been uh, referred to now as an unconference that brings together reformers, civil society, academics, and businessmen that interact to produce exciting projects that are then executed back in the participant countries. Other examples of the project he did develop at UFM include the Acton MBA program, the Startup Cities project, and I think uh, we can go uh, on and on, but these are just some of the examples of Giancarlo's intellectual entrepreneurship and drive that define him in his uh, everyday life. The very few times I'd met Giancarlo, he was always kind, uh, kind hearted and he continues to address any of my emails with the utmost respect and humble demeanor as if we were peers when I still uh, have such a long way to go before I can think myself at the same level. As, uh, as Larry mentioned in the, in the announcement of the award, Giancarlo is courageous, optimistic, 
tireless, gracious, kind-hearted, and a determined individual. I think those are the perfect adjectives to describe Giancarlo. We should all be thankful that we have such a talented and inspiring individual uh, in, our, in our movement. Unfortunately, unfortunately he can't uh, be here with us today, but accepting uh, the award in his behalf is the current president of University of Francisco Marroquín, Gabriel Calzad. Your attention to a video, Giancarlo. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers to Lala Reel. Cheers to you. I have received the kindnesses for my wife, my children, my friends, my colleagues throughout the years. And this one in particular is of great significance to me. Leonard Reed has been a personal hero for more than 35 years. I first read about Leonard Reed at the Foundation for Economic Education when visiting University of Francisco Marroquí a.k.a. the University of Free Marketeers in the late 1970s. I discovered the Freeman magazine. I read it assiduously. I subscribed to it. So it was thanks to UFM, I was then just a high school student. I would, uh, after playing basketball in the afternoons, I would rush to University of Francisco Marroquí for two reasons. My girlfriend was there, studying today my wife for happy 32 years. And then I wanted to read pieces through the pamphlets published by the Foundation for Economic Education. I'm standing here inside of the library looking for pieces at the University of Francisco Marroquí campus. As you can see, Business has been a figure very important to my intellectual endeavors. And it was through Fee and Musso, but when I am the founder of University of Francisco Marroquí, that I developed a keen interest in economics. When I left Guatemala, in 1981, to study electrical engineering at Texas A&M, one of the first things I did there was to subscribe again to the Freeman magazine. And I discovered, perchance, a very small collection of free books inside of the Texas A&M Library, the Templeton Memorial Collection, Freedom Collection. Nothing to do with St. John Templeton, but they had a complete set of the Freeman magazine. It was wonderful for me. Eventually, my girlfriend became my wife and I brought her up to college section to study as well at Texas a and And through the Freeman magazine, I learned about a seminar that was 
the team was going to host in Dallas, Texas. So my wife and I dressed up, drove all the way from College Station to Dallas, Texas. And there we had a most wonderful weekend full of ideas. We met John C. Sparks, who at the time was a trustee of fee. Of course, John was charmed by my beautiful wife, and I was charmed by the beautiful mission of the Foundation for Economic Education. So, receiving this award is, as you can see, very emotional. And I cannot explain to you how happy my family and I are for this award. Before saying, hasta la vista, amigos, I want you to please take a minute to read this quote from Business Cuban Action. The quote speaks for itself, and I think it speaks loudly of the importance of peace mission. Thank you. I received this award with deep gratitude, happy memories, and great affection. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening.